Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Shine, and today we are back with my part two interview with Dre the Q, or just Dre. Once again, he is a manager. He has several clients. One of his biggest clients is Digital Nas, who's on the come up. He's a producer. Dre is also the owner of Pivotal Branding. If you need that branding work, he humbly considers himself somebody on the come up, but he's a well of knowledge himself. That first interview alone, we already talked about things like loyalty and how that creates longevity in the game, the importance of mentors, negotiations and partnerships for brand deals and things like that. We're talking about stuff like the mentality that managers need to have, not skipping steps and cases where artists might not even need managers or will managers might not even be able to help artists because the product just isn't right. Either way it goes, this stuff is about to be good. It's another well of knowledge coming your way. So let me hop right into it. See y'all at the end. Um, all right, and just to really round things out, describing what do you, you're a manager. So what does a manager do? Cause I know a lot of people want to be managers. Yeah. Day. What, what exactly does a manager do? Man, in, 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 in this time, because of the, the business has changed so much, man, a manager does everything. <laughs> like, I'm looking at the camera. A manager does everything, man. Like one day you might be the personal assistant. One day you might be the driver. One day you might be the relationship counselor. Okay. Like one day, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's everything, man. Yeah. Everything to get the job done. Okay. Everything to get the job by done. By any means necessary. Like, you know, by any means necessary because if you don't eat, I don't eat. And I'm gonna make sure we eat. That's you right. Know, so. You know, like, is that's kind of hard to sum up, you know what I mean? But that's why I like to just say everything, man, because like I said, sometimes you might not have that intern. You might not have the finances to have interns and, you know, paid personal assistance and stuff. So it was like, you know, somebody got to do it, you yeah. know, and, it, and, it, and if you're really there for the best interest of your artist, you know, you're not going to have your artist looking like they're beneath whatever they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a superstar. They need to look like a superstar. They need to make them feel like a superstar, you right. know, but at the same time. You know, I think everybody just be blessed and be humble, you know, for every situation area. Like, you know, I don't mind picking up the bag. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's a bag at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a bag at the end of the day. If it's a suitcase or is it is luggage or whatever like that, you know. Yeah. But like I said, like I, my team is so genuine that we don't even look at each other like that. You know, we don't even look at each other. Ah, your job is to get that. Your job is to get that bag. Your job is to carry this. You know, it's more like when those emails come through, if it's pertaining to branding, you know, I have somebody for that. Mm -hmm. If it's pertaining to booking, you know, we have somebody for that. If it's the merchandise, we have somebody for that. Mm -hmm. You know, but, you know, on a, on a, you know, a lot of people get it twisted. You know, a lot of people get twisted. Like, oh, I'm a manager. That's not my job. Like. Man, your job is to do everything. In this day and age, man, like your job is to do everything, man. Like your job is to A and R, you know, A and R that, you know, correct the public speaking. If you, you know what I mean? If you're managing a host or, you know, if you're managing, you know, an actress or an actor, like, right. you know, your job is everything, man. Like, so, you know, for all the future managers out there, just be prepared, man, because it's, it's hard work, you know, and the bigger, the bigger your artists get, the more buzz, it's more work. How do you manage that and implement feedback constantly? To make sure you stay honest. Yeah, I mean, we like I said after like like we we we, we have a real good relationship. Okay. Um, you know, me and all, all my clients, man, we have a real good relationship, man. So after, you know, we always just debrief. You know, we just debrief after every at the every show at the every session. It's like you know, so how do you feel? Like, do you really feel like you put a hundred percent? You know, you feel like you didn't put a hundred percent. All right, cool. Let's go back in there. Let's put a hundred percent. Okay. You know, do you yeah. feel like you know, you know, like all of that? Like, do you feel like you know, like how how do you did you like it? Did you like that artist? Right. Because if you don't like to work with that artist, we maybe we need to figure something out. Because at the end of the day, we need the best product. But you know, at the end of the day, we need the best product. We need a dope ass song. We need a dope ass. Photo shoot, we need a dope whatever. My bad, I can curse. No, yeah, you good. Oh, my bad. <laughs> but you know, so, so at the end of the day, we we just all trying to make some dope shit. Okay. You know, yeah. all trying to make some dope shit that makes sense, that's gonna influence the culture, that's gonna make everybody better. You know, at the same time, we're learning. At the same time, we're being humble. We learn until we get to forever. You know what I mean? Like if this thing changes, I can only imagine what it's gonna be like in five years. That's. See, that's, I don't, don't want to go. I don't want to go too deep. Into that, <laughs> things are changing so fast. I know yeah, you're constantly man. learning. So, just for now, um, one final question: mm -hmm. what, For an artist trying to find a manager, uh -huh. how do they find a manager? And matter of fact, let me make it two part. How do they judge if somebody will be a good manager? Okay. Um, well, the first question: How does someone 
how, how does someone find find a manager? Um, one, I, what I tell a lot of people is, in order to like have a manager, you need to have something to manage. Mm. You know, a lot yeah. of cats don't have anything to manage. <laughs> right. They're just out here and they think they need a manager. Yeah. You know, sometimes you might just need a publicist. You know, you might just need, you know, someone that's going to make your brand develop a little bit, you know, you know, mm-hmm. before you get a manager. Right. You know, because, you know, a manager has to manage things. And that's where a lot of people make the mistake is they don't have anything to manage. Yeah. So they get with a manager and they expect the manager to make stuff happen and it's kind of like whoa like i'm here to manage like at the same time i'm out here trying to make stuff happen too but it's like we got to have something to manage so you might need a publicist you might you know you might that's that's probably the best bet you might need somebody who's going to get you in a certain light but you know you do have those managers that have those connections okay to where they can make things happen just you know, you yeah, have those yeah. managers who, who have the connects to all of the publicists out there so they know every event going on so they can make you get in there and make you look good. Got it. You know, you have those managers that have relationships with the A&Rs at the record labels and things like that. So it's different, you mm-hmm. know, and that, that's just going off what kind of manager you choose. Okay. You know, a lot of times, a lot of managers get in the game because it's their homeboy. Mm. You know what I mean? It's my yeah. homeboy. You're the only person I trust. You're going to be my manager. Yeah. You know, which is per- perfectly fine. That's how a lot of people get it, you yeah. know, which is which is fine. But like I said, you know, in that kind of situation, you know, you always want somebody that you can go to that you can learn from. Because at the okay. end of the day, you don't want to be in that room and you don't know what's going on. That's real. <laughs> you know, you don't know <laughs> what's going on. And all you just see is a white sheet of paper with black ink. And it's like, sign here. Dang. And it's like, dang, like, it's like, what, what am I reading? Yeah, you know, yeah, what am I reading? Wrong. Everything's in a different language. Yeah, you know, it's written in English, but everything looks <laughs> Spanish. Like, so you know, yeah. that's that's just one of the things. And and knowing if somebody's a good manager, man, like say, like I go based off of character, personality. You know, like uh, you know, like my, you know, like one of my fraternity principles. Uh, you know, cardinal principles is manhood. You know, manhood. Like I go based off of that. You know, is it is it a genuine situation? You know, like are you true on your word? You know, and respectful yeah. at the same time, like yeah. you know, because you like I said, you, you got a little bit of everything in this industry, man. So you know, it's a <laughs> You know, you have a little bit of everything. So yeah. you know, like I said, I would. You know, and a lot of people want to go for the the more connected manager. You know, what I mean, the more connected manager, but that could be a pretty big step too, because you might not be ready for that that shine just mm-hmm. yet. You know, that manager might put you in situations you ain't never been in, which is great, but you don't know how to act. And so you might make certain mistakes that, you know, rub people the wrong way. Like, oh man, you know, get the, get the, you know, get these kids out of here. You know, that kind of thing. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's just it, man. Like I said, like, I, th- I think that's one of the biggest things. It's one is, you know, having something to manage. Man, it's crazy you say that something to manage part because like, I kind of felt like I was predicting that. I, I said that statement a minute ago where, you know, it got to the point where artists need to be more of a complete product before they mm-hmm. got signed. But yeah. now I've been telling artists that you damn near need to be more of a complete product before you even get a manager. Like yeah. not completely complete, yeah, but you need to have something, like you said, to manage. Yeah, because I mean, with, 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 you know, with the tools and resources that we have today, you yeah. know, like you got cats recording music and it's out that yeah. for the next hour. You know, <laughs> you know like literally, like yeah. you record music, file, bounce, yeah. it's out. Send yeah. SoundCloud, email, you know, whatever the case is. So. You know, now the way that times are moving, it's kind of like a lot of people are skipping steps. Yeah. You know, and that's what I try not to do. I try not to skip steps. Like, even though I know I could skip here, you know, it's like, nah, I kind of want to know what's in that middle. Because I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to skip here and then not know what's in the middle. And then yeah. when I get in that middle for whatever apparent reason, I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to act. So, you know, I like to take those steps because I know everything's a learning process, you yeah. know. Like I said, you know, I'm not going to just jump, just, you know, just, <laughs> just jump up there like, yeah, I could do this. I know how to do it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can do it. I'm confident in myself. You know, I'm, I'm confident in myself. But me, like, personally, I want to know what yep. I skip, you yeah. know, to at least see, you know, to at least know, okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. Or, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Okay, cool. I think I know. I'm ready. You know, so before I just jump out there, you know, and next thing you know, I get messed up or something like that or make the wrong move. Patience, man. Yeah, patience is the virtue, man. That's crazy. Like, you know, make the wrong move on it. So, like I said, as an artist, man, like I said, as an artist, try to develop yourself. And, you know, even if you do get a manager that's not well connected, you know, at least I would say give that manager a chance. 
you know what I mean, give that manager a chance to prove otherwise. You know, because a lot of times the artists are like, oh, I'm not going anywhere as fast as I think I should be. And it's like, well, maybe your music isn't hot enough. That's a tough pill to swallow for some. You know, <laughs> but I mean, that's, you know, that's a lot. Of, I know a lot of young managers out there that's kind of on that, on that spill. It's like, oh, man, I can't get this. I can't get that. I can't get this. You know, and it's like, well, you know, if your music was hot enough, yeah. the fans would gravitate towards it regardless. The fans never go to artists and be like, man, who's your manager, man? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're like, man, that song is dope. Yeah. You know, like the manager come in on the back end sometimes. Yeah. You know, man, that song is dope. How can we book it? Who got a manager? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, That's so at least have your talent or whatever it is, bring them to the table. Dope. You know, because then that way you know what you're doing is working. Dope. You know, because at the end of the day, like, if the manager leaves, will your career still go? <laughs> you know, so you, you get what I'm saying? So, and that's, like I said, there ain't no shade to nobody, but, you know, like I said, I mean, just, you know, give, give it the best situation that you feel for your career, because okay. I look at everything as a career. Like, I'm not here for no one song. Gotcha. I'm not here for one album. I'm, that's not, real. I'm not here for 2017. That's like, real. 2017 was great for, for Digital Nas, but we're not here for 2017. We're, we're here to, to the end. You know, and that's one thing that, you know, like I said, longevity that I like to focus on, like keeping everything, you know, positive. Like I said, being humble, staying, like I said, just staying blessed for every opportunity that come our way. You know, you know, having gratitude, being thankful, you know, giving respect where respect is due, you know, being professional at all times. Like, you never know, you know, like I said, you never know you might be in the room with the CEO of uh, some kind of company, you know, whatever. So. You know, I, I just always stand on those principles, man. Like, final, final question. All right. <laughs> like, no, I say, you, good, you man, saying man, such man. good stuff, man. <laughs> and, you, and you mentioned mentors so much. Yeah. I want the final word to be tell tell them something mm -hmm. that you feel like was just like the best gem your mentors gave you, that or just someone gave you. I mean, I know that I'm probably I'm sure you got a lot, but they just said something that really just gave you a big, a big oh, push. Man. Be the spook that sat at the door. It's a book out oh, there. Yeah, you got everybody. You got to break that down, man. I think, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just think crazy. I, I just think you know, it's a book out there. Uh, I think it's, uh, be, be the spook that set at the door, by the door. Um, but pretty much for me, like I said, like like dealing with my mentors, man. Like just always be ready, man. Stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready, and just be prepared at all times for what's gonna come. Uh, as a as a manager, as a teacher, as a counselor, whatever you want to say, man, like you know, you just gotta you just gotta be a genuine person, you know, stay prayed up, and actually, and, and go get it, man. Like when that door open, just kick that motherfucker, you know, like if, if that shit crack open, just kick that <laughs> motherfucker, like yo, I'm here, like what's up, you know, what needs to be done, yeah, you know, versus you know, what can you give me. Like, nah, I don't work like that. <laughs> you know, it, it don't work like that. You know, how can I get better? You know, how right. can how can I, you know, a lot of people get it confused where it's like, yo, I want to do business with you. And it's like, it's not business unless we both benefit. Mm. You know, it's not business unless, unless we both benefit. So is it business for you and more work for me? Or, you know, you know, you know, what are we talking about? That's real. You know, so uh, that's probably what I, what I got to say, man. Just when those opportunities present themselves, let's take them, man. Like just take them and go from there and learn. Like I said, man, this thing I learn something new every day, man. Every day I try to learn something new till I get better. You know, I, if if I feel the same as yesterday, I'm feel like I'm doing something wrong. I mean, you know, I know. If, if, if if I didn't learn anything new about anything, some new type of publishing deal, record label deal, industry talk, whatever, it's like, you know, like. I gotta learn it, you know, if it's music, if it's film, if it's TV, like whatever, like I feel like I need to be in the know. So, you know, that's why you'll see me a little bit everywhere, man. Like, cause like I said, you know, what we about to do with Digital Nas, uh, K Major, my other client, Connor, like we about to take it to another level, you know, I take yeah. it to another level, 2017 been great, you know, but when those opportunities presented themselves, you know, I keep that motherfucking door open. Nice, man. That work. <laughs> That's a perfect way to end, bro. <laughs> nah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Really appreciate you again, man. Hey, once again, everybody, it's Dre. Can, can they follow you? Yeah, man. Know. Hit me on uh, all my Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff. Uh, at Dre the Q, at D R E D A Q. Uh, my company is Pivotal Branding, P I V O T A L Branding. Uh, at Digital Nas, at K Major Music. 
at officially kind of officially underscore kind of underscore. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, everybody, and y'all know me, Brand Man Sean. Thanks for watching again. This was super helpful for you guys. Definitely put in the comments below. Let me know how helpful this was and y'all want to see some more interviews like this. Once again, have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Love. And I'm back once again. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Definitely, as I said the first time around, follow Dre, Dre the Q, hit him up. The stuff was super helpful. I learned stuff just talking to him and just to get that additional perspective, you always wanna be able to get that from somebody who else who was in the game, living it and feeling it every day. Hit up Dre the Q. Follow Pivotal Branding, maybe inquire about the services if you're in a space that it makes sense. As I said before, don't go around spamming people for no reason. And at the same time, that's the game. Send a DM if you have to. I ain't putting no fool on your table. Don't listen to me. But if you like this interview, then hit the like button. And if you like it, then share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.